Emil in Queens. You're on WNYC with the mayor. Hello, Emil. Good morning, uh, Mr. Mayor and Brian. Um, the mayor placed 100-plus inmates from Rikers Island in a local upscale hotel in Fresh Meadows, the Wyndham Garden Inn, at $200 a night, uh, informing the, not informing the neighborhood beforehand. No community involvement, using the pandemic as his excuse to do this. This has been going on since since June and was told it was a temporary situation. In the beginning, they were unsupervised, leaving the hotel, panhandling in the area, stealing in CVS, and vandalizing cars in the adjacent parking lot. When will they be removed so our neighborhood can get back to the way it was, an upper-middle-class neighborhood that was safe to walk the streets day and night without feeling threatened? Uh, well, first of all, I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable in their own neighborhood, and we're going to, if there are specific problems at that site, we've got to address the problem. So please give your information to WMYC so our team can follow up with you. Um, I will only say that some of the facts you laid out don't jibe with what I understand. We had a crisis in March and April where we had a lot of people uh, in an uh, unsafe situation in jails. Um, the, we had to be careful in the middle of the, the intense time of the pandemic not to have the, the huge, fate, uh, huge amount of infection in the jails that could have killed people who were in there even for minor crimes. We made a careful decision. We worked with the DAs. We worked with the state. The state, I'm sorry, but I don't have any knowledge of a single location with 100 former inmates. That just doesn't jive with what I know. What we'll do is follow up on whatever's going on in the neighborhood with uh, homeless services, NYPD, whatever it takes to create a safer environment. But uh, I don't know of any place where there's that kind of concentration of former inmates. Uh, so we'll, get, we'll check that fact. We'll take your information, Emil.